um, I have a group of, again, angry women. Yep. Um, who are quite smug. Yep. In in their ability to be able to influence all of us. In the sense that they find it really easy to influence us. Yep. 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 Um, and they're nearly quite laughing about the the ease in which they can um, they can influence a lot of a lot of the women here. So why do they find it really easy? Because of how 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 easily we just want to uh, express our anger mm. rather than feel what is actually going on for us. Yep. That's what I feel. So would they like to just be smug with us for a while? <laughs> you guys really think you actually want to do this emotional stuff, huh? It's a bit of a laugh. Yeah, keep on trying. Yeah. It's a bit of fun for us, actually. Right. We think it's pretty fun. You think it's pretty funny? Yeah. That everybody wants to do the emotional stuff and they don't really want to? Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what, what, what do you get out of that? Mm. Well, <laughs> we had to project whatever we want out of you guys. Yeah. And, um, you just label it as an emotion. Yep. It's pretty cool, actually. So you label it as your own emotion as well. They label it as their own emotion. Yeah. Not knowing that you're projecting it at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Yeah. You don't see it as pretty nasty. <clears throat> Like taking advantage of people who don't know what's going on. Don't you think that's fairly nasty? Mm. Yeah, but they're wanting us to do it. Are they? Yeah. Of course they are. In what way do they want you to do it? It wouldn't be so easy for us, would it? What, what, what things do you see in them that cause them to want you to do it? They want to see, they want to see emotions as being a good thing, and they want to see if I'm feeling an emotion, then at least I'm feeling something, and it feels a justification of mm -hmm. that justification of their belief system. Yeah, and even sometimes it's just they 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 just want to get angry. Yeah. They just want to get angry. Yeah, and then call it anger with males or yep. whatever. And we just want to get angry. You you do as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about the nasty thing. You haven't given that much consideration whether it's nasty or not. Mm. If you had a person who doesn't know what's going on and then you torment them just because they don't know what's going on, wouldn't you think that's fairly nasty? Wouldn't it be better to actually tell them what's going on? Mm -hmm. Would you, if it was you on the receiving end? Yeah, okay. Wouldn't you want to know what was going on? And and wouldn't you rather know than not know and then just be manipulated? Yeah, I suppose. But, oh, now, now I'm just really confused. That's okay. No, I'm perfectly okay. I know you came to talk because you felt a bit 
smart about the position and you felt a bit condescending towards the women, in particular the women in the group, right? Mm-hmm. But, but the reality is that doing something harmful to a person just because you can is not a very loving thing to do, mm. is it? No. So, so what I would ask you to do is consider, well, are you actually being loving towards the women in the group? No. Can you see that? Not really? Yeah. Yeah? That's not something I've really considered. No. As important. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just really angry. Yeah. And um, And you like to have a way of expressing your anger mm -hmm. through a woman on earth, so that way you get to have a feeling of satisfaction. Mm Mm-hmm. And And it feels good. Yeah, and you also get to have a satisfaction towards who they're angry with. So it's like if they're angry with their husbands or their sons or whatever, then you get a satisfaction out of that. But you also get the satisfaction of doing it without them really knowing what's going on. They have no clue a lot of the time. Yeah, and a lot of times they they yet to even know that that's not their own emotion even. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so you get to feel a bit smug as well. So you get two emotions out of it. One is the satisfaction of your rage towards men and the other is the satisfaction of smugness towards women. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. But both emotions I put to you are not sort of a loving expression towards those people. So I feel there was a reason I wanted to talk. Do you remember what the reason was? Um, I feel like deep down inside of me that I perhaps knew that, that, that this wasn't a nice thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm just stuck in this cycle and I don't know what to do about it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's what I would call an addiction. Do you know what I mean by an addiction? It's a feeling that we have to do something because it's the only way. And it's a feeling and not a thought. It's a feeling that if I do this, it feels better for me. Mm -hmm. Every time you're angry with men, what are you angry with men about? What have men done to you that caused you to be so angry? Controlled me. Yeah, how did they do that? Mm. You don't want to remember. Mm. Can you see, it's your desire to not even want to know or remember how men have damaged you that now causes you to stay in a rage with men. You feel justified. Yes, I do. I just want to be really angry. Yeah. I I, I can't even remember what they've done. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Can you see them? There's a lot of fear involved in that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And whenever we're afraid of things, it actually helps us cover over the sadness of what we're afraid of. And at the moment what you're doing is you're using your rage as a way of covering over your fear. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Fear is, is not an emotion I um, allow myself to feel. No. No, because it doesn't feel very powerful, does it? No. And you can't be smug there either, can you? No. No. So, um, my suggestion to you is while you want to stay in the powerful place you will be willing to harm other women and the men through them while you don't want to stay connected to your own emotions of fear but if you allow yourself to connect to your own emotions of fear like you're doing just a little bit in this discussion what will happen is you'll have less desire to be rageful with men and also you won't feel as smug towards the women. So therefore, you'll be in a more loving place than what you currently are. And when you're in a more loving place in the spirit world, (coughs) you can live in a better location. 
This feels really unfair. Yeah, it is unfair. In the sense that somebody else did damage to you. But how unfair is it for you then to go and do damage to other people who don't deserve it? So surely the damage that, if you're going to do damage to anybody, you would think you'd want to focus on the person who did it, wouldn't you? Can you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, like you're saying it's unfair to have to feel the damage that's been done to you. Yes. And I put to you that while you're damaging other people who don't even know you and had nothing to do with your life, you are being just as unfair or even more unfair to them. Can you see that? So the key is to go back and go, okay, well, what are my options? The things that happened to me happened. That's the truth. They happened. And there's nothing you could do to change those events from happening. And all you've got, to, all you can do now is feel about those events and then they'll be gone from your life. Do you see what I'm saying? And only you, while it's like, while it's, not very good that somebody did damage to you. In fact, it was very unloving of them to do damage to you. The reality is that you then choosing to do damage to others is the same reason why they did damage to you. Can you see? So you're doing damage to some of the women in, in it who are present here, right? Yes. And yet they didn't harm you, did they? No. And you're damaging some of the men who are with these women, don't, aren't you? Yes. And yet those men didn't harm you. No. And isn't that the same thing that happened to you? Where you were damaged by somebody and you didn't harm them? Yes. Can you see the pattern? And see, some of, one of us, some, someone's got to stop that pattern. If, if, if we keep perpetrating that pattern, then in the end we get generation after generation after generation harming the next generation. Can you see that? And this is where it requires some self-reflection. Now, if I am prepared to feel away all of my emotions about the harm that's done to me, then the next generation will not ever be harmed by me. So, the next generation mm -hmm. will not feel what what you're currently feeling, what I'm feeling, yeah. and and what I'm doing. Yeah, because they, they will have no harm at all. And this is the this is the beauty. See, somebody has to have the courage to feel their stuff. The the people who harmed you didn't have the courage to feel their own harm. And instead of doing that, they chose to do what you've cho you're choosing to do, and that is to harm somebody else. Can you see that? Yes. Somebody who wasn't even involved in the original things that were done to them. Yeah. Yes. And that's what causes the damage, you see. But there's something that's even better than what I've described to you, because that's what's called the law of compensation when when we need to come to feel our emotions about the harm we've done to others, which which are often caused by the harm that's been done to us. There's this different thing called repentance and forgiveness. You see, you can work your way through a lot of your emotions by just asking for God's love to come to you and enter you and expose within you the unloving things that are within you and allow yourself to deal with that. You can work through it by feeling a feeling of repentance about what you've done to others. See, the darkness in our soul is not primarily caused by what other people did to us, but it's caused by our response to what they did to us. It's caused by what we do to others. Okay. Would you like some spirits to come and help you with this, to help you understand the difference of how to deal with your emotions? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Well, let's ask them to come. And, and fear. I, I don't understand fear. You don't understand fear. Yeah. So you, you need some help with understanding yes. your fears. Yeah. But can I make a recommendation to you that when you listen to these spirits, that you stop trying to harm others who had nothing to do with your harm. 
because that is just damaging you even further than what you've already been damaged. Do you understand? Yes, yeah. I think I do. Yeah. Let's uh, ask some of our brighter spirit friends to come. Can you see them? Now you don't need to be afraid of them. Just breathe. You don't need to be afraid of them. Right. And they have some love for you. And what they're going to do is help you understand your fear. Okay? Are you okay with that? Yes. Stay, stay breathing and let yourself feel what you feel. At the moment you're not letting yourself feel, you're trying to stay away from your feelings. Just let yourself, I know, I wouldn't go near them. Yeah, just let yourself feel them. And these, these spirit friends can help you go through those emotions. But just let yourself feel that you've, you've locked yourself up so much from your fear and you just need to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Right? Stop trying to hold yourself so tensely. Right? Allow yourself to relax into the emotion. And God loves you and you can receive that love. Right? But you can't receive it while you're so blocked to feeling your emotions. So this is why it's important to feel them. <laughs> well, those spirits will stay with you. You can have a good cry now, and those spirits can stay with you, and then, then they'll talk to you after you've had a good cry, and they'll be able to tell you what you can do. Yeah? No Thanks for coming and talking. Thank you. <laughs>